Welcome to The Bachelor, the morning after. I'm Trisha, a producer at Access Hollywood, and I am here with Miss Becca Tilly Hi. from The Bachelor franchise. She was on Chris and Ben seasons. And Miss Lauren Elizabeth, an actress and online personality. Oh, I thought you were gonna be like, Bachelorette to be, or like from the Bachelor. You know what? Yes. There's still no time. time. Let's start from the top of the episode last night, and that would be the whole Varsity Blues whipped cream moment mm -hmm. that began the show. Whose idea do we think this was? Do we think this was Corinne's idea, or do we think a little producer nudging? I just want to know, like, did she pack that jacket? You know what I mean? Like, did the producer yes. have the jacket, or was she like, I'm gonna bring my trench coat because I know I'm gonna need this for like this thing that I'm gonna do? But right, I'm. I would hope that she packed it just for like in case we go to a cold location. Right. And like, <laughs> Instead hey. of like, this is for when I wear my bra and under my whipped cream. Okay, with my whipped cream. Have you ever done that? Any whipped cream no, tricks? No. So you chose. You were saying before. Hand, you chose not to drink as much alcohol. Why do you think Corinne is and continues to do it every day? Like she's not learning her lesson. I don't think she feels like she's doing anything wrong. I don't think there's any regret or, or remorse. Yeah, I, I think, think she's, she's so very like. I think the regret is when herself. she doesn't get like enough attention. Right, right, right. She's like, I didn't get to take my whole trench coat mm -hmm. off. Right. Like, I only got to show a little cleavage. Yeah. Like that's the regret. And then she'll cry. Right. To some random contestant. And then no sleep. one's on And then her she side. sleeps. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which is like when I think about it, I'm on set all the time. Like I go on camera, I do my job, and then I literally go and lay down. So I'm like, oh no. Now I can never go on The Bachelor because I would just look like I was doing what Corinne was doing, minus whipped cream. But how did you not like sleep all the time? How are you not bloated all the time? I don't know. That's a great question. I was bloated all the time. <laughs> like it's like girls like in their bathing suits like drinking beer. I'm like, oh. You literally. I mean, most of the girls work so hard, work out so hard, and eat so healthy. So the first week or so, you're feeling pretty good. So right. it's middle of the season when you start traveling that you're like, oh, I need a sweater. And I would need like a GoFundMe for like a personal trainer and like a new wardrobe. <laughs> Ever go on the Bachelor? Right, I think, I think this yeah, exactly. You. The campaign starts right now. <laughs> yes, she's gonna nominate you. Speaking of nominating, we were kind of talking about where they found Vanessa because we absolutely adore her, mm -hmm. How, and she's from Montreal. Mm -hmm. How do we think casting found her? Because she just seems absolutely perfect as a person, but also for Nick. I think someone nominated her. I just can't imagine that she went to a casting call and was yeah. like. It's like, Hi. Big Vale, yeah. that's where I'm going. <laughs> Nothing against him, I just feel like no. she like isn't, that's not her type. But she brings out such a great side of him. Date? Oh my God. I, I was like, And she was like, just was like jumping on him, he like carried her back to the car. I was like, oh my God. She threw up, he so <laughs> wanted to be right next to her. I know, he, he goes, her. So pet her. Good. I was like, oh. Um, I didn't <laughs> hear that, but that's disgusting. Oh yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Exactly. How far do we think she's gonna go? I think she's I think she's like going far. He's not gonna let her go. You know, it's like I feel like you could see it on his face when she was like, Why would you why would you let Karen straddle you straddle you? And in his mind he's kinda like, Oh, cause she's like on top of me. Like, I mean, what else Jeez. am I supposed to do? Yeah. But then I feel like he's not gonna like give up every single girl in that house for Corinne, nor is anyone probably gonna let him. Yeah, I mean, the only way that she doesn't make it far is if she chooses to leave, in yeah. my opinion. We have a few more things to talk about. Uh, first off, the Backstreet Boys date that Miss Becca was at. It was, yeah, it was there live. Was it, yes. was it that smooth? Like, like, what was it like actually being there and not getting like the amazingly produced version well, on television? Before they, the Bachelor part of it happened, uh -huh. me and another girl from the show, Ashley I, we got serenaded on stage by the Backstreet Boys. So I was on this high. I was like, <laughs> what's better than life right now? This is my best life. And then they came out and they did it and it was hilarious. Like we were dying laughing watching them dancing. And then when he chose the one and the other girls were watching from the side and they kissed. Danielle. It was painful. I think we should lastly talk about Corinne in the bouncy house. Yeah. I mean, it's like where she probably lives. <laughs> like that Princess is on Corinne set in her. I picture her being like in her house and then Raquel like blows it up. Yeah, yeah like literally, she's like, um, I bought this thing in my suitcase if you guys could blow it up. And every sudden they're like, it is a bouncy house. Like that Girl, what definitely is still be there. Perfect. Well, I think that's the perfect way to end it. Please check out Becca's lifestyle blog and her new YouTube page. It's incredible. And Miss Lauren, wh where should we Everywhere go? Everywhere on the internet. Everywhere. <laughs> I'm like too much. I'm like, get away from me. <laughs>